Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be starting with PC building sim. Um, today we're going to be building our own little PC rig. So we're not going to go for super expensive. We're going to go for mostly in between of the price. So for example, we'll go with like a case. I'm thinking maybe like a Corsair. Whoa, laggy. I'm thinking about more of a Corsair. Um, 1000D. So we can have an EATX. So what we're gonna do is we're going to got to look. Let's remove that. Let's remove that. First, we're gonna take off everything. Open up everything. We can fit hard drives in there, so let's go storage. We're gonna go Barracuda Fortair. So we all, I, I do this. It's preferably just me. I do it because it's what I, I find easiest. So I usually start with the storage. Except for things very laggy. Um. So what I do is when I start with storage, get all the storage done. Now that the storage is done. Looks like because since we're gonna be going water cooled, we're gonna most likely want a 1,000 watt. We don't need a 1,000. We can actually go 850. We'll do you know we'll do full course here. So we'll go with an 850 max. So we gotta remove this. Corsair E50 Max. Okay, now for the m processor, let's see what we wanna do. We can either do a Threadripper or we can do an i an i9. Which, to be honest, I might do an i9 9900K. Let's see. I can do a KS or I can do a K. 9900K. Um, we'll do the KS. It seems more special. Oh, I need to find a motherboard. Uh, Coffee Lake. Okay, so I'll just go with Coffee Lake. Huh. You know what, um, we'll go with this one. You're all Wi-Fi. Okay, we're gonna rock two graphics cards. So, we will hit them with... Let's go with the 2080. Um, and we want TI. So, we can do colorful, which is really expensive. Or we can just do a default 2080. Let's see. Uh, we want. Uh, we'll go with two of these. This is tag gaming. Okay. And now we'll plop the CPU in. Processor. We want our i9 9900KS and then for RAM we'll go with we'll go Trident and you want no 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 Corsairs no they have vengeance um you know what we'll just do this uh, okay, um, I'm not doing a white case, so we won't do white, but let's see, uh, looks like 8 gigabytes is the highest that they have, so we'll just do these ones. Okay. 
so we got those. We are going to see what we got, so we'll install custom water cooling. This is PC reservoirs. Um, Corsair, here we go. Let's do black to fit it. Okay. Now, we need a CPU block. LGA. Corsair, here we go. Um. Okay, so now that we got that, we're going to move on to, um, fans. So, first of all, we can put the PC strap back on. Now, fans. Now, the fans are a little bit... We'll do these ones. SP. Okay. Uh, and I don't know if I can actually wire all these because I've had problems and back then was having problems with wiring. So, what we'll do is we'll do all of those, and I thought I could do, yeah, I thought I could do them up there, but I can't. Now, piping, we're going to go with, wait, okay, pipes, we're actually going to go with clear rigid. Remove these corn right here. We'll bend that up. We'll bend that up. Okay, see, this is what I don't. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll bend these straight. Okay. So that's straight. There, that's kind of wonky. So then that's wonky. Okay, there we go. Okay. So for these, we actually, I'm just gonna go with copper fittings instead because I believe hmm. oh you know what I see the problem I don't have a radiator you know what I'm retarded ignore, ignore that okay I need a radiator Uh, we'll go with that one. Okay. So, piping. We need to go from the radiator to here. So, this has got to come down like that. That's got to come out, and there we go. Okay. In fact, we're actually going to remove this and redo it. So. We'll 
bring this up. Okay, well that doesn't bend. Pull this up here, and then we'll get rid of that. There we go. Okay. So. As of right now. That's straight. Okay. First of all, we gotta straighten that out. Okay. Straighten. 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 Oh my god. Okay, what in the heck is happening? I know for a fact that's the yep. Okay, come on. And if you can tell, I am really bad at water cooling. This is why most people just leave it, dude. Okay, remove that corner. Now. Okay, there we go. Still not the greatest, but it works. So, I'll have to keep practicing. Now, we need cable wise. It looks like I do not have room for this. So, this will end up coming out. But everything's plugged in, so all we need is coolant, which I love my blue. So, we're going to go with the blue coolant. We will let everything fill up, and then we will turn on the PC, and we'll see what we got. And right now, we're only floating at about $7,000, which you can build a lot more expensive ones if you go full water-cooled. But of course, I'm still learning, if you can't tell. So. Oh, wait. Okay. We need our USB. We need to get our OS system on. Okay, and if you can't tell, I can't, I don't really like it very much, but these aren't RGB, which sucks a little bit, but it's kind of just how it works, so. Okay, well, as everything is powering on, okay, so we are getting blue screen. You want to know why we are getting blue screen? Because I forgot to put thermal paste on that. Which means that I had to pull all this back off again. Okay, I gotta empty the coolant. And then we are going to put thermal paste on. Uh, 
reservoirs. Not reservoirs, CPU block. Okay, so piping, okay, okay. Hold on, I have an idea. I think I know what to do. If we work from here, we build up slowly. This is just ridiculous. What the fuck is this? Okay. Bend that straight. I think what we need to do is Okay, what in the wonky ass? Okay, this is not working out very well. Drag up to there. Let me guess. It, yep. Okay. Get that. Perfect. Okay. Now it's just this right here is all wonky. Okay. We'll take it. Fuck it. Oh, I know what it is. It's that right there. Okay, just bend that in. Okay, there we go. So, now, we will get our coolant back in here. We'll let it all fill up. And then we will go. And cross your fingers. Then it fires up. Since you're talking about some RGB though. See? And it all fires up. And there you go, guys. Got ourselves a water-cooled RGB computer. Have a nice day.